Hello everybody, this is Kevin, me, myself, and my vinyl. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday evening. So, cheers to y'all out there in the vinyl community. Um, I uh, received this as a gift for my son. I am a proud dad of both my son and daughter. Um, so, just enjoying a Friday evening. Uh, I received a package in the mail. Actually, I received it, what's today? Friday evening, uh, Thursday. I haven't had a chance to open it yet. I figured I'd open it here. Um, it comes from uh, Chance over at Concert Buddy. If you guys don't know Chance, go check him out. Um, he does mine, he does uh, long form interviews. Uh, he did Harris Pilton in his last one, I think. Um, but he does long form interviews with, with, uh, with people in the VC. Also, he does a, I think it's a every other Thursday uh, podcast and live stream um, called Surface Noise. Um, I had the honor of being on there. He asked me to join him for one of their shows. Um, <clears throat> he brings on Arnaldo from uh, Audio Fidelis, I think is his channel, Jason Rojas, and uh, Jose Moreno Ron. Um, usually those are the three other guys. Um, he has David Bianco on who uh he is um can't remember the name of his channel it has something to do with texas but i believe they're all out in texas right now at the austin record show um but you know chances helped me out here a few times in acquiring some stuff and i received the package i know what's in it and i'm excited to open it um here it is came in a nice mailer with uh you know from plaid room records so it's obviously a recycled mailer but this thing is sturdy. Um, I'm excited to open it. I'm going to clean it and listen to it tonight. Um, so I, I just wanted to come on here and first of all say thank you, Chance. Um, he even sent me a message. He said, "Hey man, if you're going, I'm going out to uh, Austin. Are there is there anything that you would be looking for?" And I told him what I one of my grill records, and he actually abided and sent me a text message. And I was traveling home from work today. A um, little out of my price range for what it was, what I want to spend, uh, and I'm not there, so it's hard to tell like what condition is and um, you know price and that sort of thing. But it would be like you know, would you spend the money on that kind of deal, kind of deal? But anyway, he sent this to me. He was on the lookout. I was not able to land this for record store day, so it's something that I was wanting and couldn't find. And uh, last weekend, he's like, hey man, I found a copy of this. Do you want it? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want it. And I was like, how much is it? He's like, well, it's what I got it for, you know, on record store day. So, you know, I uh, definitely snatched it up. He helped me out a lot because this record's already going for double and triple on the secondary market. And I'm not about to pay those prices. Um, record store day stuff, you know, I could probably be patient and wait. Or I could go buy it that day and pay three times as much as it actually was in the record store. I didn't go out on record store day. I went the day after because I just had other commitments. So, plus this is probably the only thing I really wanted. And if you saw my last video, you probably know what this is. So, uh, Chance also has, I actually bought something off Chance um, a while back on Discog. So I do believe he's under, um, uh, he does sell some stuff. He's not like a dealer or anything, but he does sell some stuff on, uh, um, Discogs, which I, unbeknownst to us, bought something off of him. I think I bought a Nirvana Palace press of Nevermind before I even had any uh, conversation with him. But what did I get? So this was on my, this was number one on my long want list. This is a band that I, I've never really gone in depth about it. Um, read some books. Um, I'll probably never see this band live because I don't know that they'll ever play again live, but that is the Talking Heads, and he was able to pick me up a copy of the Talking Heads live at WCOZ 1977. Um, I was excited. I have the, um, <clears throat> I have the, uh, what is it? This band is called the Talking Heads. I have that. But this has some unreleased tracks on it as you probably know from all of the you know rsd day uh hoopla um it has some unreleased tracks that were in on that concert and i believe this is the entire full concert so um i love the talking heads i 
trying to get as much as I can. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to, to listen to this, um, which is weird because I think there was like 13,000 units for this particular record. But when I was going through the RSD uh, videos, I only saw two people that said they picked it up, which is kind of odd to me because where'd they all go? Where'd they all go? This is pressed on 45 uh, RPM, which from what I've heard, sonically it's fantastic because it allows it to kind of spread it out over two LPs and, you know, really allows the, for that, uh, that sound to come out. And usually a lot of albums, they're hit or miss, right, on, uh, on recording. So um, I'm super pumped about uh, getting this and listening to this and I didn't have to go and uh, pay an exorbitant amount of money because somebody in the VC hooked me up and that's really why I love the VC. Um, I don't have a network of people who I can talk records with or vinyl or even concerts. Uh, I got a couple people that I, I do have in my circle of friends that, you know, enjoy music, live music and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> but you know, as far as records go, I have maybe one or two people that I have close by that I actually talk to regarding records. So um, that's why I love the VC. And, you know, Chance was looking... He's like, hey man, what, is there anything I can I can help you look for? And he's he sent me cut down a couple of uh, pathways to find some stuff online. It just didn't work out. And then he's like, hey man, I have a I have a copy. Do you want it? And you know, I got it. So if it wasn't for him and the VC, I would not own this record right now. So thank you again, Chance. And you know, that's why I love this. Okay, I love this. I've made some good connections with some people. I'd love to meet some people face to face. I'd love to be at that record fair right now in Austin. Um, yeah, I think it'd be really cool to be out there right now. I've never been to one. I really want to want to go to one. I live outside of Atlanta, and oddly enough, I don't. I haven't come across too many things that say record fair. Um, so I know there's one that they have. I think annually here close by, but I've never been able to go because it's kind of a weird thing. It's on a weekend that I'm usually busy. I coach a lot with my kids. So, um, anyway, thank you guys. Thank you, Chance. Thank you, VC. I'm going to spend some records. See you soon. Bye.